let's take a look at our tail of the tape for our co-main event of this first portion of the card. Miguel, what stands out? Well, Figueroa is obviously one of the bigger 122 pounders in the division. Five, stands at 5'8", and he's got the advantage over Vasquez. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mohegan Sun Arena here in Uncasville, Connecticut, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next world title attraction, brought to you by Lions Only Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. Judging at ringside, from Avon, Connecticut, Glenn Feldman. From Flushing, New York, John McKay. And from Nowak, Connecticut, Don Torella. And we introduce our third man in the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Gary Rosato. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBA Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left. He is fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with white, red, and green trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at 121 and one half pounds. His record stands at 15 wins, one loss and one draw, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his first attempt at a world title. Here is the challenger and world rank Southpaw contender, introducing Damien Sugar Vasquez. Uh, and his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim, hailing from and representing his home of Westlaco, Texas. He weighed in at the super bantamweight limit of 122 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, one draw with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight making his Showtime debut, here is the young, talented, and undefeated Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, introducing Brandon, the Heartbreaker Figueroa. And a referee in charge, now to give instructions. Once again, we have Gary Rosato. Okay, we're on the clean. Mouthpiece. Okay. Damian Brandon gave you specific detailed instructions in the locker room. I'm only gonna tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all, all right, times. Touch gloves, bang back. at the ball, God bless. Just, uh, just get ready with your bug. Getting uh, ready for our co-main event of our first card. Brandon Figueroa and Damian Vasquez. We'll see if Brandon Figueroa can get this victory and end the fight within six. And this or is, if Vasquez can play spoiler. And this is a fight, Ray, that's kicking off uh, one of the first of three big Super Bantamweight bouts on tonight's card that has a lot of implications. Who knows, we can see the winners face off against each other later on down the line. Well, Brandon Figueroa told me earlier this week on Premier Boxing Champions Instagram Live that if he's successful tonight as Figueroa, he can go, he's typically, he can go both ways. He's ambidextrous when it comes to his stances. Uh, both men southpaws originally, but he told me that he would love to fight Luis Nitti. That's the fight if he could make one, if Nitti's successful tonight, that he would love to have. He feels it would be a tremendous all-Mexican clash. But right now, Damian Vasquez, who at 23 years of age, faced relatively light opposition with the exception of Juan Carlos Payano, needs to prove himself at this level. Figueroa started to do that in his career, had that fight against Julio Seja, but Seja came in four and a half pounds overweight. Figueroa also said he wasn't feeling the best coming into that fight, so he said a combination of things led to the draw, but he said at this level now, he has to once again prove himself. Nice straight left by Damian Vasquez. Nice straight left by Vasquez. A left to the body and Figueroa teeing off on Damian Vasquez. But back comes Vasquez with a straight left of his own. 
Vigador smiling, and that's an indication typically that a prize fighter got buzzed. They are mixing it up on the inside. Oh my goodness, look at this action. It's now a fun boot fight, even though the fun boots don't exist anymore. Under a minute to go here in our opening round. Double jab by Damian Vasquez. There's a straight left by Brandon Figueroa. Back comes Vasquez. They both exchange a close distance. Fun matchup to begin. This car is this is our co-main event of our first card. It's broken up into two cards. Making shots between the two. And are they going at it here in the Super Bantamweight World Championship matchup? Vasquez and Figueroa going at it as that ends the first. And there is the father of Brandon Figueroa, the trainer. Let's go, Bucky. Keep it up, Bucky. Huh? Coming up on round two, this one's scheduled for 12. Don't know if it'll last that long. You can give as good as he can. You can give as good as he can. As Randy Figueroa going right at Damian Vasquez. Double jab for Damian Vasquez, who now is trying to box. Randy Figueroa. Figueroa, though, loves to attack the body. He said he loves ripping to the body because you take more out of your opponent. You don't pay dividends later on in the fight. There's a right hand by Brandon Figueroa as he now goes to conventional stance. Vasquez seems unwilling to commit to his jab. There's a right hand down the center by Figueroa, followed by a left hook. Now Figueroa goes back to the southpaw stance. I like it where he was able to transition literally in one motion and do it as as he was coming forward via an angle and not in a straight come forward fashion. Gary Rosato separates the two. 100 seconds to go here in this, our second round. Looks like Vasquez is looking for his opening, but Figueroa constantly putting that jab in his face. There's a nice straight left by Figueroa, and now Figueroa goes back to conventional, and now he's southpaw now. Couple left hands driving back, Damian Vasquez. Double jab by Vasquez, but Figueroa walking him down, a big straight left popping Damian Vasquez. Vasquez with another straight left that he ate from Figueroa. Figueroa starting to find his openings and connect with that straight left on the chin. Can't get too many of those, otherwise he will be put to sleep. Figueroa with a jab followed by a straight left. Figueroa looks in excellent physical shape. There's a straight left by Vasquez. But Figueroa remaining patient, jabbing his way on the inside. Now, punch out, punch out, close punch quarters. Out, Gary Dosato letting them fight out of the break, saying punch out. Punch out, punch out. Final moments of the second round. Punch out. 
Vasquez is holding that left arm of Figueroa. As we near the end of the second. We'll go back and take a look at some of the replays. There's a nice jab by Figueroa, followed by a straight left. And again, taking a look at some of the action here. There's that straight left that clipped Damian Vasquez. Zero in on that nice jab, and boom, the left on the temple of Damian Vasquez. Round three, this one is scheduled for 12. In his last matchup, Figueroa went the full 12 rounds for the first time. He was actually on ESPN's recent list of the top 25 fighters under the age of 25, potentially maybe headed towards a unification matchup with Angel Leo and Stephen Fulton, depending on who wins that matchup. He's been going back and forth with Stephen Fulton from Philadelphia. Fulton was supposed to fight Leo here on August 1st, but he tested positive for COVID-19, thus delaying the fight. Leo would pick up the title against Tremaine Williams. And that fight has been rescheduled for later on in the year or the early part of next year. And Damian Vasquez trying to box on his toes. Jab comes out by Brandon Figueroa, straight left by Vasquez. Vasquez continue to make that investment. There's a left hook by Vasquez. Now Figueroa with the right hook to the body, a vicious left hook to the body as well. The body punching started to come out from the 23-year-old out of West Lakota, Texas. He had a homecoming last year where he picked up the title that he now holds. He defeated Javier Chacon in the fourth round in devastating fashion right there in the Rio Grande Valley area. Back comes though Damian Vasquez. Figueroa was supposed to defend his title against Julio Ceja. Ceja though missed weight, therefore the title was not up for grabs as we are just over the halfway point of the third round. Jab by Figueroa. Seventy seconds remaining in the third. Well, so far, Vasquez has been able to withstand the power punching of Brandon Figueroa. Good left to the body by Figueroa in close distance. Figueroa looking for his opening or right upstairs. And Gary Rosato stepping between the two and separate them. Even though Figueroa and Vasquez are the same age, from a level of competition standpoint, Figueroa has by far the most impressive resume of the two. Final moments of the third round between Brandon Figueroa and Damian Vasquez. It's a little chippy at times left to move the top by Figueroa. That ends the third. This is all nine. They're going to replay here. Back to clean. Got a couple replays here. We take a look at some of this action from round three. Ready out to four, you want it? Vicious right hook to the body, and then Figueroa to place a left. Oh my goodness, that would take a lot out of you. I'm sure Vasquez is going to feel that in the morning. Listen to Ahmad Figueroa Sr. 
A mouse underneath the left eye of Brandon Figueroa. When I asked Figueroa about what it's like training during this time of COVID-19, he said, we have a private gym, everything's perfectly fine. I can fight 15 rounds if I need to here tonight. Big Orr in the white and the blue, wearing the black, white, red, and green is Vasquez. Vasquez originally was trained under Floyd Mayweather Sr. That didn't last too long. Now Figueroa looking to walk down some boxing. Looking to gain combinations is Vasquez, a straight left that connected for the 23-year-old and Damian Vasquez. Doubling up on the jab as well as Vasquez. There's a double right hook by Figueroa. Now Vasquez trying to hold that right arm of Figueroa. Figueroa looking to tee off, and now a little bit of a front face lock there by Vasquez. But back comes Figueroa. Figueroa sprays him with a straight left right on the jaw of Vasquez, and Vasquez leaves, leaves his chin exposed, and Figueroa connects upon him. Good shot being left hand by Figueroa. A triple right hook, and now the combination's coming out by Figueroa. And uh, Vasquez saying he got him behind the head, but now just teeing off was Figueroa. Figueroa starting to find more openings and is taking advantage of what he's seeing from Vasquez. There's a left hook by Figueroa. Figueroa continues with his high punch out, but Vasquez might be in some trouble here with his back on the ropes. Figueroa wailing away upon Damian Vasquez. Vasquez's face is starting to swell from the work rate of Brandon Figueroa. Figueroa has a little bit of a mark underneath his left eye as well. He gets tagged with the right. There's a nice straight left by Figueroa, but back comes Vasquez. Vasquez, they're both exchanging straight lefts. I believe the mouth of Vasquez starting to bloody. A right hook to the body by Figueroa. The ambidextrous of Randy Figueroa as he goes from southpaw to orthodox is having a significant impact and allowing him to connect that will upon Damian Vasquez. I got it, bro. Go and listen into the red corner. Okay, he's hitting the lot. Damien Vasquez. You understand me? Yeah, okay. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Yeah, Don't bang man. with this fucking uh, dude, man. Yeah, Come man. on. Right. You're picking him apart. He's getting frustrated. Come on, dude. I'm gonna be here. Come on, dude. 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 Come on, Round four, this one is scheduled for round five, beg your pardon. This one's scheduled for 12. As Brandon Figueroa, the uh, defending champion, putting his title on the line against Damian Vasquez. Figueroa has only been to the 12th round once. Vasquez has never been to the 12th. There's a nice 
nice uppercut left by Brandon Figueroa. Break! <laughs> One two from the outside, Brandon. One two from the outside. One two from the outside. Let's go. A minute has elapsed here in this fifth round. This one is scheduled for 12. Break, break, break. I believe we see a laceration outside of the um, right eye of Damian Vasquez. Just over the halfway point of the fifth round. There's a nice right uppercut by Brandon Figueroa. Straight left by Damian Vasquez, who connected. But Figueroa looking to walk down the 23 year old in Damian Vasquez. Under a minute left here in the fifth. A little bit of a welt underneath the left eye of Brandon Figueroa from those straight left compliments of Damian Vasquez. Gary Rosanta warning Brandon Figueroa about holding behind the head. Brandon Figueroa with the chap followed by a straight left. Final moments of the fifth round between uh, Brandon Figueroa and Damian Vasquez. It has been Figueroa walking down Damian Vasquez, though Vasquez gaining some shots from the counter punching position. We'll take a look at some of the action from the fifth round. Figueroa in close distance here. That was the hole behind the head. Damien Vasquez and Brandon Figueroa. This is for the WBA Bantamweight Championship, Super Bantamweight Championship. Three 122 pound matchups on display here tonight. Double jab followed by a straight right from Figueroa as he continues in his pursuit of Damian Vasquez. There's a right hook by Vasquez. Double jab by Damian Vasquez, who's starting to maybe potentially get into a rhythm here in this championship affair. Jab followed by a straight left from Vasquez. But back goes Figueroa with his own straight left down the center. And Vasquez trying to complain about the holding behind the head. Vasquez tying up holding the 
left arm of Brandon Figueroa as well. We'll see though if Figueroa can start to walk down and gain the advantage when it comes to the body punching department against Damian Vasquez. There's a jet ball by right hand. They pull their team off, a couple of right hands snapping back the head of Vasquez. For Figueroa, it goes to softball again. A right to the body, vicious right hook, followed by a left hook as Figueroa investing into targeting the body of Damian Vasquez. Brandon Figueroa punches in bunches. He is a high volume puncher. Now there is some swelling underneath the right eye, a little bit of an abrasion underneath the right eye of Damian Vasquez that we're starting to witness. Both men engaged in this battle here at 122. Close distance now as Figueroa barrels into Vasquez. Final moments of the sixth. Coming up next, Jamal Charlo defends his championship against Sergei Daryachenko. There's a straight left by Vasquez to end the sixth round. We're halfway over. Main events tonight, the Charlo twins headlining their first pay-per-view, Jamal Charlo. Five Let's take a look. There is Jamal no Charlo, who is Sergei making the third Charlo defense of his WBC middleweight championship of the world from Houston, Texas. 30-0, 22 knockouts. His most difficult challenge to date against that man, the technician. Over 400 amateur fights with the Ukrainian national team, represented the Ukraine in the 2008 Olympics in Beijing. Sergei Daryachenko, a third of his fights have been either World title the fights are against former the world that champions. That is our main he event of our like first card coming up next. What a main event coming up, two main events that really deliver uh, not only in the And you see the right eye starting to swell considerably for Damian Vasquez. The left eye also starting to take some damage as well. So Brandon Figueroa picking up the pace. The champ Figueroa in the white and blue. Vasquez in the white and red. Jab by Figueroa. Figueroa starting to make Damian Vasquez's face become a mess from the work rate and the high punch output that he is implementing here in the fight. And that is not a shock as Figueroa is known to throw over 100 punches per round. There's a straight left by Figueroa. Vasquez with his back on the ropes. We'll see if Figueroa can take advantage of this. A minute 50 remaining here in this seventh round. Vasquez staying in the pocket. Pushes down the head of Figueroa. Left hook to the body by Figueroa, but back comes Vasquez with a straight left of his own. Joel Casamayor, former lightweight world champion in the corner, the trainer of Damian Vasquez, a jab followed by a right. But that right eye swelling considerably for Damian Vasquez. Coming up on 65 seconds to go here in the seventh. There's a right hand by Brandon Figueroa. 
but back comes Damian Vasquez, a straight left for the 23-year-old who now resides in Las Vegas, and Damian Vasquez, a right up to the body by Figueroa. Under 30 seconds remaining here in this, the seventh round. That right eye is almost swollen shut by, from Damian Vasquez. Now blood starting to stream from the face on the right side of the face of Damian Vasquez. Final moments of the seventh as Vasquez, his face is becoming a bloody mess. That ends the seventh. And as we take a look at some of the action here, there's a nice right hook upstairs by Figueroa. Followed by a couple left hooks. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah, you guys okay. do what you guys do. Hey. Yeah, you gotta move. Don't stay there. Move. 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 Now Gary Rosato is going to have the ringside position. Look at Damian Vasquez. That didn't take too long at all. He said, yeah, he's good. Well, so much for that. So we enter the eighth round. This one's scheduled for 12. But that right eye, considerable swelling for Damian Vasquez. Something to look at. There's some body work by Brandon Figueroa as he starts to pick up his punch output. Nice straight left look at Figueroa just unloading upon Damian Vasquez. Nice right hook on the inside by Brandon Figueroa. Figueroa stalking Damian Vasquez. Vasquez is one tough customer here in this Bantamweight world title matchup. Figueroa continues to be moving forward, throwing a lot of punches. Vasquez throwing a lot of arm shots, nothing that has backed Figueroa off of him. Vasquez felt that Figueroa and he was going to be able to showcase his ability against Brandon Figueroa. He's tough, but now Figueroa goes to the body, a left hook, followed by a right. Figueroa clipping Damian Vasquez. A laceration above the right eye of Vasquez, followed by swelling. And uh, Brent Figueroa really starting to break down Damian Vasquez. And Garrett Osado warns Figueroa about holding behind the head. Vasquez is one tough customer, but my goodness, there's a straight left by Figueroa. Another straight left that backs up Vasquez. Can Figueroa really start to unload and finish off Damian Vasquez? There's a straight left by Brandon Figueroa. Well, Vasquez is in a world of trouble as Brandon Figueroa continues to pour it on. And also, it might be time for Joel Casamayor to start thinking about maybe pulling Damian Vasquez and Andy the night because Vasquez is not throwing anything significant and he's absorbing quite a bit of punches.
Please. Damian Vasquez said Figueroa is a great fighter, not going to take anything away from him. He's a world champion, and I'm a world champ and a world champion for a reason. I'm going to give him everything I got and take the title from him. Well, so far it has not fared his way in Damian Vasquez. For Ben Figueroa, I see this as the biggest opportunity of my career, and Vasquez is standing in my way. This is my chance to show everyone why I'm one of the best fighters in the world. So says Brandon Figueroa. And there's that left hook by Figueroa. And on the inside, crushing shots, a straight left. That it's finding its mark for Brandon Figueroa all night long. As we enter round nine, this one is scheduled for 12. Jared does not a warning both about holding behind the head. Figueroa undefeated, his only blemish coming, a draw against Julio Ceja last November on the undercard of Wilder Ortiz 2. Damian Vasquez absorbs a body shot, now he goes backwards. But Figueroa continues to press the action. There's a straight left by Brandon Figueroa. There's a straight left by Figueroa, another overhand left by the West Lagoon, Texas native in Brandon Figueroa. Vasquez isn't doing anything significant here. Another straight left. He's just absorbing and eating straight lefts. And you wonder if Figueroa is going to go to try to get the finish. The right eye is bloodied by Damian Vasquez. Another straight left. Terry Rosado is watching the action. Out to the body, and this is target practice for Brandon Figueroa. Look at this combination. Gary Dosanto may be in line to stop the fight. I'm surprised Gary Dosanto hasn't stopped it yet. Vasquez is in a heap of trouble, and now he pushed down Brandon Figueroa. And we'll see if Figueroa can go for the finish. I think, though, if you're Joel Cosimo, you really got to think about protecting your fighter. There's a big overhand left that blasted Vasquez. Vasquez is taking unnecessary punishment. He's on his feet, but he isn't throwing anything back of significance, and he's just getting his face carved up. He's backpedaling, he's not coming forward, and I'm surprised that the corner hasn't waved it off, and I think one more exchange, and Gary Rosato should stop this fight because now the fighter, his hands are dropping in Vasquez. Figueroa's teeing off on him. A lot of arm punches, and you gotta know the fighter. It's safety first, but Vasquez hasn't landed anything significant, probably three or four rounds. They better take a long look at him in between rounds as we head towards the 10th. Vasquez is one tough fighter, but he is getting unloaded upon and absorbing quite a bit of punishment. Yes. Right. Yeah, we, it's right. taking a lot, of, a lot of punches, again, guys. Stop in the fight. Okay, okay. Corner, what? he gets in trouble and stop him. He's taking a lot they of punches. Maybe you need to stay the fuck yeah. off the ropes. Okay. Okay. How, many, how many rounds are there? This is nine. Okay, okay. Ten, okay. Sir. Ten. Hey, come here. Mira. What's going to be some other thing. Okay, come on. Move the box. What do you want to do? Box, man. Why are you giving him this fight for? We're going to watch. All right, he's got to show us something this round. Too much punishment. This is it. You hear that? Rapidez, campeón. ¿Me entiendes? Come on, ¿Sí? Rapidez. Come on, dale box, it's boxing, bro. Uh -huh. Poquita boxing. boxing. Move them, box. Uh -huh. Just move around. Stay away from it. Uh -huh. Rest. Okay? Put it down. Okay? Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Rest. Second out. Move. Second out. Go. The tenth round scheduled for 12. You heard Gary Rosato. And now they're going to look at Damian Vasquez again. Water. 
Gerard Otato said, I'm watching him. Dr. Michael Schwartz, uh, you know, he has a short leash. Does Damian Vasquez? We'll see if Brandon Figueroa can pick up the pace and end this night here in the 10th. A big straight left that blasted Damian Vasquez. If Figaro opens up and starts to land a few punches, Gary Dos Santos would immediately jump in and stop this fight. That right eye is swollen, lacerations on his face. Brandon Figueroa looks to be the way fresher of the two. A little bit of swelling from Figueroa, but nothing to be worried about. That's just, that comes with prize fighting. And Vasquez tied up with Figueroa, a couple of double left hands, and now Vasquez was languishing on the ropes. Vasquez is pretty much in survival mode. He is un on unsteady legs. Is Vasquez. Now Figueroa stalking a big right hand. Snapping back the head of Vasquez. And now Figueroa going to work and this one is over. And thankfully, Gary Rosato ends this one. And still, Super Bantamweight champion of the world, Brandon Figueroa, a one-sided demolition of Damian Vasquez. And Vasquez took quite a bit of abuse inside that ring. And the heartbreaker became the face breaker tonight as he dominated his opponent in Damian Vasquez in route to remaining undefeated and retaining his world title. Well, Brandon Figueroa went out and look at that overhand left right on the jaw. I don't even think that Vasquez could have seen it coming. One point I did not make, when the right eye starts to swell, it makes it very difficult to see punches coming. And here you see another big shot by Brandon Figueroa, the left hook. Figueroa knew it, the right to the body. Oh my, right on the midsection. And that vicious left hook to the body. Gary Rosato had seen enough. So with the right eye swelling, it makes it very difficult to see punches coming your way. And lo and behold, there is the jubilation. Calm, cool, and collected is Brendan Figueroa knowing that he punches his ticket to a big money fight down the line with this Audi. There is the father, Ben Figueroa, Omar Figueroa Sr. in his corner, and they sign a respect between the two. Brandon Figueroa predicted a finish. Lo and behold, he got it here in the 10th round. Joel Casamayor exchanging pleasantries with the Figueroa team. Brandon Figueroa retaining his championship by having no issues with Damian Vasquez. Well, fans, we have the time of 1 minute 18 seconds of round number 10. Our referee in charge, Gary Rosado, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Brandon, the Heartbreaker, Figueroa.